So we've all heard of Danny Farquhar, the MLB reliever who had a near-death experience due to brain neurism. Well, because of that, that completely threw off his MLB career. So what I want to talk about in today's video, guys, is the sad fall of Danny Farquhar's MLB career. Before I start, though, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a like on this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Danny Farquhar was drafted in 2008 by the Toronto Blue Jays in the 10th round. And his first year in the minor leagues in single A, he was amazing. He went 2-2 two two with a 1.95 ERA and had 31 strikeouts and 15 appearances. So far, so good. 2009, he went from single A to double A. And when you count single A and double A the way he did, he went 2-4 and four with a 1.87 ERA and had 74 strikeouts in 62 innings pitched and had 22 saves. Again, amazing. 2010, he went 4-3 with a 3.52 ERA at 79 strikeouts. So as you can see, back when Farquhar was in the minor leagues and he was still young and had a long way to go, he had a lot of potential. As you can see, what I just told you from his stats, he had a very low ERA. So this guy had a lot of potential. But he was pretty old for single A. He was 21. I'd say that's a bit old for single A. But still, he still had a lot of potential, and it was still, and he was still very, very young. 2011, he went four and five with a 4.07 ERA at 52 strikeouts. He played in AAA that season, not the best. He did get called up though in 2011 to the Blue Jays, and didn't really do much. He had a 13.50 ERA in three appearances. He did not play in 2012 because he was storming going around every minor league team. He was on a lot of teams. Started off on the Blue Jays, then he went to the A's, then went to the Yankees, and then went to the Mariners. So he didn't play until 2013. And in 2013, his first year back to the major leagues, he went 0-3 with a 4.20 ERA, had 79 strikeouts. ERA was a bit high, but still got a lot of strikeouts and had 16 saves. 2014, which was arguably the best year of his career, he went 3-1 with a 2.66 ERA and had 81 strikeouts. Again, amazing. I think this was his best year of his career because out of all his seasons, that was the lowest ERA he had and the most strikeouts he had in one season. So that's arguably the best year and the most settings pitch he had in one season. But anyways, 2015 was not good at all. 1-8 and with a 5.12 ERA with 48 strikeouts. Not good at all. 2016, he went to the Tampa Bay Rays, went 1-0 and with a 3.06 ERA and had 46 strikeouts. Okay. 2017 went from the Rays to the White Sox, had a 4.20 ERA. But 2018 was the year that Danny Farquhar had brain aneurysm. He wasn't even doing well that year, but that doesn't matter. That year, he went 1-1 with a 5.63 ERA and had 9 strikeouts. But really, this was horrible because Farquhar, after an appearance, he suddenly collapsed. He had to go to the hospital and they realized he had brain aneurysm. This is so serious because brain aneurysm so first of all it's rare for really a player to have that second of all there's a good chance he could die from having brain aneurysm Farquhar luckily survived but because of this brain aneurysm it completely threw off his MLB career in 2019 the Yankees signed him for a minor league deal and he had a chance to make a comeback but sadly he couldn't he got released by the Yankees and it was announced yesterday, Danny Farquhar announced his retirement from the MLB. Here's what he said himself. I was just watching the guys throw. They were throwing really good and really hard. And I realized how far behind I was. I, I put in a year plus of work, busting my butt to get to this point. I was just really far behind. It's a very special opportunity. I've been given to continue my coaching career and I'm really excited. One of those things where they're letting me get my foot in the water in 2019. Send me to Birmingham to learn from the coaches and see what the other side is about. So as you guys can see, Farquhar is probably gonna become a coach. But sadly, this is the fall of Danny Farquhar's career. He only played seven years in the MLB. He could have had a longer career. He could have lasted longer. But because of Brandon Uriism, it completely threw off his MLB career. He could have made a comeback. He tried making a comeback, 
just wasn't good enough. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. I'm out.